Longboards often come with awesome eye-catching graphics. Some boards, though, come with more bland graphics, or they come with a graphic that you just don't really like. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to personalize the graphics on the bottom of your longboard to make an eye-catching design or make a board into a fantastic, meaningful present. My name is Cash, and you're watching Cashed Out Boards, and in today's video, we're going to be personalizing this retrospect longboard with a custom paint job. Let's get into it. The first thing that I always like to do when working on a project like this is make a plan. I planned on retaining the original graphic and adding a 2D mountain scene on one side and a 2D ocean scene on the other. I drew a rough sketch of this in Sharpie on the board's plastic wrapper to test the idea out. If you're working with a brand new board, it will likely come in one of these plastic wrappers, which is a great way to see what your design will look like before actually going for it. Once I was happy with that, I went ahead and took the trucks off of the board. This allowed me to get the plastic off without having to rip it around the trucks, and it also allowed full access to the longboard deck itself. Now it was time to get to work. Keep in mind that my drawing and painting skills are not top notch and that the graphic that you come up with is absolutely up to you and your painting, drawing, and artistic skills. Anyway, I began by sketching the scenes on the bottom of the board in pencil. This allowed me to plan out my design a final time and erase and make changes. Once I was happy with my initial sketch, it was time to start painting. I chose to use acrylic craft paints for this board. I chose these because they're very inexpensive at about $1 or less per color and I already had them. Once again, this is not a painting lesson as I'm probably not the best person to learn that from, but anyway, I got to work painting over my sketch design. I found with most colors of this paint that two coats were necessary to get good coverage as you could see here. Slowly but surely, I went through all my colors and was able to get the board in a place that I was happy with. Eventually, I ended up covering up all of my pencil sketches with paint and it was looking pretty great. For some final touches, I used a fine tip sharpie. These are great for details that are too fine to easily get with a brush and they're also great for outlining paintings to really make them pop and stand out. Remember that this method of adding graphics can be used for any type of painting, not just hand painting, and you could do stenciling, splatter paint, or really whatever you could think of. Let me know what kind of graphic you're adding on your board down in the comments section down below, and let me know what kind of board you're painting. Now the painting of my board was done, and I was quite happy with it. Next I wanted to seal in my hard work with some clear coat. To do this, I used a Rust-Oleum Semi-Gloss Spray-On Clear Coat. The most important thing is that you pick a clear coat that is compatible with your board's original finish, paint, and graphics. This Rust-Oleum spray can was capable on wood and most plastics, which is basically what a lot of longboard graphics are made of, so I decided to give this a shot. When spray painting, you want to start spraying off of the board and then evenly move across the board at an appropriate distance. You'll want to overlap your paint strokes for the best coverage and for great results. With the first coat, you'll want to go fairly light. This will allow you to get a base coat on the board without risking making your paint run or your Sharpie run or whatever you used for your design. You don't want that to interact with the clear coat, so go light first. Later, you can move up to thicker, glossier coats if that's your goal. Also, you could use brush on clear coats, but once again, a brush on clear coat is generally going to be heavier, and it's a lot easier to make your paint or sharpie run if it's not compatible with it. So just be careful. Anyway, between coats, you could go ahead and use a light scuff pad to remove any dust or other imperfections that are in the coat, and this will also help promote adhesion of the next coat. Remember, the goal of scuffing is not to remove a lot of material, so don't use anything too aggressive. Also, if you do this, go ahead and clean the surface with a rag to get any dust off. You could also use a light cleaner, such as denatured alcohol, to remove any grease and help the paint stick even better. As a side note, I'd actually recommend scuffing the board's original graphic before even starting to put your new graphic on, as this will help the first coat that you spray on stick better and help whatever you use to paint the board stick better. 
Once mine was scuffed, I went ahead and did a final thicker coat to finish off the board. Then all that was left was to let the clear coat dry and reassemble the board. And here's the finished product. I was pretty happy with it and I think it'll make a great gift. What do you think? Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more longboard building videos, and have a great day. Take care.